I am joined by Sarah Stieferson. She's back again to show us more of her workflow in Photoshop and Adobe Express. Um, so before we get started, for anyone new that's joining, why don't you give us a quick intro, Sarah, of yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah. Um, <clears throat> I'm a photo editor and photographer. And so I'll edit people's photos online or I'll edit my own photos, which we'll go into a little bit today. Um, I'm coming here from Idaho, originally from like Las Vegas, Arizona area. Cool. Um, but yeah. Nice. What part of Idaho? Boise. Boise. Okay, cool. And what kind of photography do you do <clears throat> specifically? Like what's your favorite type of photography that you do? My favorite is like portrait surreal photography. Okay. So kind of like taking a portrait, making it cool in Photoshop. But I do a lot of weddings and like, you know, portraits like of people. So cool. Cool. So before we get into it, we are live. So feel free to drop any questions both in our Behance chat as well as our YouTube chat. And if you aren't already subscribed to Adobe Live on YouTube, make sure you give us a follow on Instagram or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it, Sarah. Hi, everyone. Okay, so as you can see, it's Disney Tokyo. I just got back from Japan and... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's like, I love this photo. I, I had my husband. I was like, hey, make sure the lamp's in there. I want the castle. And of course, there's a ton of people. That's just kind of normal for vacation right. photos. Like, you're going to have people in it. You're not going to tell people to like move around. So that's why we have Photoshop where we're going to remove everybody. Um, and with the new AI, it's kind of fun that it's so easy. Like it's just like it's more fun than tedious now. Yeah. So if you don't already have like this window up, then you can just go to Windows and then just do the contextual tax bar. Tax okay. Bar. So there you go. And I'm just going to select my subject, which is me. It's very hot, my frizzy hair. Um, no, so, I love the bow, it's so cute. <laughs> I know, right? So right, it does a pretty good job. It kind of misses my um, shirt right there. But I love about like AI and even like in uh, like all the other apps, it's just like, it doesn't really matter. Like right. I feel like photo editors can kind of relate to photographers, right? If you have a client that's like, can you edit this? And you're like, that's gonna take me 10 years just to select that, right? It's just like, it's so yeah. tedious. And so I'm just gonna kind of leave it as there, like there and copy and paste it into a new layer, just like that. Or whatever. There's other ways to do it. That's just how I've always done it. But so let's just try to remove this cute girl. Yeah, cute dress. I like it. I know, right? <laughs> I love the styles there. It was super fun. The ears. Have the, you been to any other? Uh, I've only been to like the California one. Actually, I haven't been to like Disney World. Like D Disneyland, is that what you meant? Yeah, like yeah. any other ones, just <laughs> just in Tokyo, just because we went to visit Japan, and I was like, oh, I've heard the Tokyo one is super cool and really cheap. Okay. It was like, actually, I just went to the California one in December, and then in August I went to Tokyo, and I want to say we spent like the exact amount of money, like including like flights. Interesting. Like, I was just like, just because like you know flights, hotels, like in California, like yeah, yeah, expensive. It was just like crazy. I was like, wow, water is only like fifty cents here. Like, wait, what? okay, me looking well, up flights to Tokyo. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's I heard it's a nice place to live and really cheap. Um, they usually just like tax their people more, which is where their money comes from. But, okay. And so, really, with the AI too, I don't really feel like I have to do anything. Like, you could write remove people. I feel like once you start getting into sentences, it's kind of like it'll even say like. Sometimes, like, up here are the tips, like, don't put remove, don't put yeah. add, just kind of, like, let it do its own thing, right? So sometimes it can be a little wonky. Okay. Right? Oh, but... Oh, that one's really That, good. like, it followed, like, this line. Yeah. That's kind of pretty. Like, it's not... I mean, usually it's just, like, the, the cobblestone street, but... I actually really like that one. Yeah, that's See? nice. Yeah, I actually have seen a lot of people putting in prompts, like, just to remove people. Yeah. And it is amazing what it can do without those prompts. So that that's a really yeah. good tip is just to leave it Just kind of try it. And that yeah. way you can just, like, generate again. Or now you can, like, add a prompt straight into, like, your layer. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just like to see what... Photoshop thinks first. Yeah. Just because I'm like, hmm, what, what are you going to do? Because I would have never thought of that. Like, just because I know that this technically follows this line. Yeah. But given that, again, this is more of, like, a surreal idea of this. Um, I don't really care if it looks really re realistic. And then just like straight from this layer, you can just kind of like remove this stuff. Cause it's like, we don't really want that. And right, maybe I could have write like tree or something like that, uh -huh. but I bet it will follow the line for this. And are you making a different layer for every piece that you remove? Yeah, I'll just make yeah. a different layer. Okay. Um, this looks part of the layer. Just because, like, right, that was, like, the original. Here, I like doing this just so we can see okay. the original. Yeah, then it's um, less destructive if you have, like, those multiple layers. You can always turn them off, turn yeah. them back on. And you can always, like, look back to, like, let's say you decide, like, oh, actually, 
I like, you know, this one better versus this one. Yeah. You can always go back. If it does, I know it sometimes starts getting like a little bit big of a file. I'll just like combine the layers. Got like, it. I'll just do like from here to here, control E. Oh yeah. And so if you rasterize the um, layer, then it does not give you those three options anymore. So right, it just becomes, oh, whoops. I didn't mean to, I was <laughs> trying to save. Oh, I didn't even ask me that. So then you have like that and then it's just basically a layer and then you can just make those if you're just, you know that's what you want kind of thing. I'm a big layers person. I'll make Got a it. layer for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I need but to be better about that because I always forget to name my layers and stuff and then I oh, yeah. these things. I definitely don't name them because it does, I feel like it always names it, like changes the layer to the generative one. Yeah. Which is kind of, annoying. I bet you could fix that, but um but yeah, that's what I just do, just because then, right, if you don't like something, you can always go back, because yeah. I have learned from lots of experience when you're like, no, wait, why didn't I save that? So the exactly. more layers, the better. But something I love, too, again, that just the selection is just, you don't even, like, right, it didn't even change my hair. Yeah, that's crazy. Though. I was going to say, like, you didn't, you weren't too careful with that, but it's so nice that it just keeps your hair how it was. Yeah. And that looks really good. Right? I know, yeah, like, it followed that. And sometimes, yeah. too, like, let's say if I, like... Like, I almost like how more exact this is. I'll, like, um, copy the layer, right? And then I'll just, like, erase part of it. Like, oh, no, I liked this part. Oh, okay. That's and a good so tip. so then you can kind of... Oh, whoops. Why isn't it erasing? Yeah, this is what I love, too, about um, this generative fill is that it, it, it is making this really easy for you, but it also is, like, a tool rather than a complete fix. Like, you're still going to have to go in there and give yeah. it your own touch <clears throat> and fix it in the way that you really want it to look like. Um, so great starting point, but then you can keep going in and make it your own. Yeah, that, and that's that's what I like about this. I think that's the scary thing about Fireflies. There's the people that are like, it's taking away. And people are like, you're going to lose your job. And I'm yeah. like, well, not really. Not really. <laughs> I haven't yet. <laughs> yeah, so. it still needs a little um, touch in there. So it's, it's just kind of funny because, yeah, like, I mean, this is nice, but, right, this is looking a little funky. So, I mean, you can just come yeah. in here with, like, the clone stamp um, and just fix it up, right, because this is a lot less tedious than, like, before trying to make this whole thing by yourself. Like, exactly. it just is kind of like, oh, like, I never would have thought of that. This gives me kind of an idea of what I want to do. Um cool and then you fix it and then you just own. fix it and it's yeah. just yeah it makes it fun and again yeah it's not perfect but it's like oh okay like now I know what I'm capable of like let's yeah right let's make it a masterpiece now nice so so yeah this one I feel like would be super difficult with those little people in the back and then this girl that's cut off by the yes like I feel like if I had this photo before I would have been like Okay, like this would be a super cool photo to show off. Like I edited those people out, <clears throat> just because like these lines, like they're so tiny, and you're like, I don't want to have to like go through go all through of them. that, like yeah. and trying to like match match up the lines, the perspective. But with AI now, we're just gonna see see what it does. See what it does. Oh, also, let's see if this you just select the person. This is the object selection okay. tool. So that's awesome. So it's a pretty good job, and then you can just oh, actually, you can just shoot straight from here. Um, expand selection if you want. So I'll just do like 15. All right, so it is a little bigger. Okay. I don't even care if it's like selected to the um, bars or not, just because AI kind of knows that they're there. Right. So okay. we're just going to see if it like matches up. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Da da da. And again, I'm not going to put anything just because it's like, I feel like unless you're adding something, that's when you kind of want to yeah. put something. Um, like I edited this photo before <clears throat> and like I wanted to add a lamp, like this lamp is kind of missing. So I just put lamp or like lamp. Post. Yeah. And did it so. go off of like the lamps that were already yeah, in the picture? Yeah, it goes off of what all the pictures. So right, that's this crazy. goes off of like what it already sees. Yeah. So it kind of kept, oh, that's kind of like in the way. Like, look at that. Like it that's kept crazy. It what, kept it exactly the same. What it was. And I yeah. love that because I feel like with a content aware fill, it would probably just cover the whole thing with like the brick. Right. And then yeah. you have to like go in there and make sure like the pole is still there. Cause I still like the, the pole, right? Like the, the lines or anything like that. That one's a little messy. So number two is kind of my favorite, but I just love that. Like it's so cool. And even tried like making like this little area too in the back is trying to figure out that or whatever, but it basically do like the same thing for here mm -hmm. too. I don't know. It's just like, it's so fun. Cause it's like, instead of concentrating on removing stuff, now I can think about like, oh, what would I add? Like, mm -hmm. what, what can I make this photo to look better? It's just really nice, but. Let's see what it does. Oh, look at that. So good. Oh, awesome. 
Right, and it, it kind of changes them a little bit. And right, sometimes if I forget, like, what the original That looks be. pretty good. Yeah. I'm like, no, that, look at that. That's pretty good. And, like, far, like, even, like, these little lines right here, how they're, like, actually straight. Yes. I feel like before with, like, the clone stamp tool, I'm, like, doing, let's see, I don't even have it open. The clone source. This was me. It was just, like, changing the direction of, of like, the lines. of the lines yeah. <laughs> all day, like, doing them, like, oh, this is going to take forever. Right. Anyway, but... So if you do save your work, right, you've been working on your art piece, and we can remove these people later, but let me just show you something cool. If you save it to your cloud documents, right, I'm gonna Disney Tokyo. Uh, you just save it. Right, so now like when you log in to like a different computer, you can use it, it's mm -hmm. super nice. Instead of on your hard drive, hard drive, always trying to remember it. And then let's say I want to make like an Instagram post. Okay. Uh, Instagram square post. If you wanted to make it longer, you could just resize it and make it a little bit like longer. So this one's probably like, I think it's like 380 is the right one for like the whatever, the portrait. <laughs> Sorry, so if you go to your stuff right in the left hand corner, it's already there. Cool. Like that's the photo that I was working on. That's amazing. And it'll automatically update, which is really cool. So if I go back into Photoshop, Right, I'm like ready to post this. I'm adding some text. I'm kind of like a little bit bored of it. I was like, oh, I need something that like pops for like maybe like, you know, Disney Tokyo or something. Yep, okay. Um, but then I go back and I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to remove these people. We can just go back and select them all. And remove them. Do, do, do. This is nice that you can just select such yeah. a big group of people. Whoops, my hand jumped. Yeah, it's not like one by one because sometimes um, I feel like I would tell people that like if something doesn't work out and you're kind of like that's not what I wanted, I do say like, oh, do a smaller selection, like do like yeah. just these groups of people or whatever. But here it's just like, you know what, we're just going to do all of Give them. Give it a try. And we have their little legs too, but that's fine for now. At, while this is generating, I was in trivia a couple of nights ago, and mm -hmm. there was a question about where in the world are all of the Disney parks. Yeah. Do you know where else they are? Yes, I do, because I looked them up. <laughs> so there's one in Paris. Yes. And I was looking that up. I was like, oh, what's different? What's cool? Because I think Japan, there's a lot of similar stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, I love that one. That one looks so cool. Let's see. What, I think I kind of like that one. Anyway, that but so there's good. a lot of, like, like, it has in Japan, there's a whole, like, bell um, castle. So okay. like they have this two castles. So they have two castles. I have this one <laughs> and the bell castle. And oh, I should have done one of those photos. It's super pretty. And like the whole like kind of like bell, like the Gaston cafe, and yep. like the fountain and everything like that. So I really like that area. They're making a whole tangled area. Fun. So it's super fun. The one, they have one in Paris and then there's one in Shanghai and Hong Kong. Yep. You would have yeah. aced the trivia <laughs> question. <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we knew Tokyo was, and Paris, yeah. but the other ones we didn't know. I was kind of surprised that there were two, like, right in there. China. And yeah. there were actually a lot of um, foreigners in Japan. And there were a lot of, like, Japanese, Chinese, Europeans. And I was kind of, I was like, oh, that's crazy that they came all the way over here. And there's, like, two in China. Yeah. I was, and one in Paris. I was like, what are they all doing here? You know, but I'm like, I'm all the way over here. And yeah, like, you are. <laughs> <running so>. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. But, oh. I love that. And then we could do like the little circles. But anyway, like you're done. You're yeah, like, that oh, looks so good. That looks fun. And you go back into AE or Adobe Express. And usually a little button will pop up. It'll be like, you you may have to much. save. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Save. Save so it no. Oh, yeah, because save it to the cloud. Oh, yeah, like, your link there assets have changed. Update. Right, so all of your assets, if you had different okay, layers, yeah. I yep. feel like this is super important for illustrators when they have like tons of different layers like yeah. for logos and stuff like that then it's just like updated immediately and so i would be like curious vintage. if you made this fit into that box and then try the gen fill let's do it see or gen expand i should say yeah see if it works no oh, whoops Where's my... this is my favorite thing because i like cannot when I'm taking pictures out in the wild, I never think about like, oh, this would be cute to post on Instagram or this would be cute to post here. Yeah. And then I always end up with pictures that are the wrong size. So I've used this so many times. Yeah, this, right, this is kind of nice because even too, I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize I cut off like the tippy part. Like I was like, yeah. that's kind of annoying. We can even make this just like a little bit bigger. 
Um, but yeah, I agree because then it's like it is kind of annoying when you think it doesn't fit. And yeah. You're like, hey, what do I have to sacrifice? Am I going to sacrifice like my long hair, or am I going to sacrifice the tip? Like, right. Right. It's either going to be like one or the other. Like, and then that's kind of lame. You're like, wait, and then yeah, what are you like? This, at? it's like a little head, and oh, you're like, you lost your bow. Yeah, it's just part. like, wait, <laughs> what do I do? So this part is super fun, and we're just going to select all of it. I feel like before, like, the new update, I would do it in, like, little sections again, too. Yeah. But now I'm kind of like, let's just do the whole thing. Like, I think it'll turn out. And, again, I'm not even going to put anything. Let's cause, see. Because it's kind of like, once you get a little bit too specific, it's like. Yeah. I it doesn't think it kind of confuses. So, you kind of get, like, that base. And then if you don't like it, that's when you kind of start, like, oh, sky or, you know, add, I don't know, extra. Oh, this is exciting. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I didn't kind of add a person, but that's... Look, it added... To add a person? Uh, whatever that is. It kind of looks like <laughs> skin tones or something. <laughs> it added something. <laughs> we'll that part's a little bit... We'll but this part is kind of <laughs> nice because I did practice on this photo before, and it didn't add the blue towers in, but it did. Oh, that's song. nice. Yeah. That's good. No, that cool. part looks really good. Let's look at the other ones. That one's kind of That cool. one looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of finishes the castle for you and, like, the sidewalk. The sidewalk. This side's really good. Oh, that Ooh, one's this super one's pretty. Super good. Oh, I love that one. Right, so then if I like this right side, I can kind of keep that as a layer. Um, and then maybe like I'd want to like change this side. Like, okay, like let's kind of fix this up. Like, yeah. And maybe selecting a little bit more, like kind of like telling like generate AI, like, hey, like I want this still in the footer kind of thing. Cause, right, you can always erase, you can always go back. Yeah. Non destructive, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, while this generates, we have a lot of people in the chat. Um, Luke, hello. I saw Paco, George, Christopher. Hi, everyone. Keep dropping all your questions in the chat. All right, let's see what it did. Luke, I love object selection is probably the greatest tool to ever come to Photoshop as a photographer. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like, that's my favorite tool. Like when I saw that come out, I was like, downloading now, updating. So this one's kind of pretty. It's almost kind of like trying to like copy like this green, yeah. which I think kind of like adds to it like a little bit like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. And again, right, like they have the lines that are a little bit off so you can kind of like figure out like, okay, what do I yeah, want? Yeah, but it did copy like the flowers and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So overall, it's pretty good. So right, it kind of gives you right, an idea instead of like before, if I, I actually would try to expand my own photos before Ooh. AI came. <laughs> but right, if you have to pick what you're choosing from, from the photo. So then it almost, it's like, you know, they always say like, oh, it looks a little clone stampy. Yeah, or it yeah, looks yeah. a little like patchy kind of thing. So this kind of gives you more to like pull from, which I love. Like these flowers are like different than these ones. So yeah. that's kind of like cool where it's like, okay, now I can create this. Or like you could add something like maybe yeah, you yeah. wanted to add people or animals, right? Like if you wanted to create like a little parade, but <laughs> which I think too, <laughs> like crazy. this is like a little bit weird up here. And I think it actually looks like a little cross. And so if you just want to change like, so like for this, I would say cross, cause right, it doesn't really know what it wants to change to. Right, okay. So just load, right, usually I'm watching a show while I'm editing. <laughs> cause right, you have these little breaks yeah, where yeah, I'm yeah. getting my snacks. And so, and so that kind of looks, it's definitely a little bit smaller. Um, the cross, the actual one that looks yeah, like. Yeah. So even, oh, this is cool. If, right, you're like, this is supposed to be smaller. You can go into edit and free transform and you can change it automatically. Ooh, so it's like a little element that you yeah. can play around with. So right, and maybe it was like more face forward, so you could like kind of change, right, like the perspective or whatever. I'm not sure how this one would really work, but <laughs> I'm not the best at that. Ugh, I don't like that, I like the original. Um, but yeah, yeah, so that's kind of cool. This is just another example of like how it's a starting point, and then you can kind of play around with how exactly you want it to look, which is nice. Yeah. That I, looks pretty good. I know, and so then, like, right, there's just, like, since it's a little bit smaller, we just kind of take the clone stamps. Beep. Boom. And it's just, like, yeah. it, it matches. I think that's something I love, too, like, when adding elements into my photos as well. Right, we all know, like, we're trying to find a stock photo that perfectly matches, right. or, like, that's gonna have the perfect, where I can add my own lighting in. It doesn't have any harsh lighting. But here, it's like, you know, maybe we wanted to add, I feel like Disney always has fireworks or something like that. So okay, let's cool. just, let's try to add that to our stuff. I'm just going to combine all my layers too, so that. A daytime uh, fireworks show. Right, oh. that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know, too bad I didn't have a night photo. If anyone was going to do it, it would be Disney. They'd figure out a way. Right? <laughs> to do it. 
And wouldn't that be cool? It's kind of like, oh, I didn't get a photo, but and I just kind of I'm curious to see how well it matches. Yeah, let's see. Because <clears throat> this is a point where, like, like you were saying, on stock, it would be hard to kind of find yeah. something that matches the lighting here. And then you got yeah, change the opacity, mm -hmm. like yeah. the color, or like what is it? The yeah, the layer type. It's just like. Uh, and then I feel like as an artist, we always see, oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> They're really a little cute. funky, but like, look how cute that is. Yeah, definitely. If, like, oh, that's your style those. too, is like adding that like fantastical era, you know, elements to yeah. it. And so it, it's perfect for that. And it did match the lighting really well. Right. Like, I feel yeah. like if I added fireworks in there, like, you're going to be pulling fireworks in the daytime. Yeah. Like, or in the nighttime. And it's like you're trying to like match that. So then you're racing, and then it's like, this doesn't even look like anything. Yeah. So. But I feel like, oh, let's just see actually what um, Adobe will put with nothing. With let's nothing. see if it copies that. But yeah, see, it's just like kind of fun. Like it kind of gives you, and you know, some people, I, I since I was a photo artist, people are like, oh, it's fake. Oh, it just says blue. That's kind of lame, but whatever. <laughs> it added a little bit of cloud. <laughs> a little clouds. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, it was on a different layer, yeah. so that makes sense. But it's just kind of fun. Like the, you know, again, the options are like endless yeah oh, that's kind of fun that's cute especially too if somebody like asked you like um i feel like that's happened a lot too like where weddings like oh the fireworks did go off but like they yeah. went off before we got there or like the sparklers and she's like oh shoot like now i'm trying to add in and even though there's sparklers in the photo it's like you're trying to like copy the sparklers paste it and like yeah. kind of like erase it like make it perfect whereas now i could just like circle the little sticks and be like or you know sparklers sparklers yeah and then it actually looks looks realistic then you like trying to like manually erase everything and of course right yeah you'd have to do some touch-ups like right maybe i'd want to like pull this down and make it smaller or whatever but it's just kind of nice that's like that's the option yeah um luke is asking if you ever work in premiere rush at all and if so how and when do you premiere rush like a it's, like, that's more like video editing. Do you yeah, ever do video editing for I your like, wedding work? Do video, oh, for videography, I'm not much of a videographer, but if I do like edit like my photos, I actually in Adobe Express, you can edit videos in there, yeah. which is awesome. So I think they, they have Rush, but I think almost like now everything in Rush is more in here. Yeah. But like Premiere Pro has a little bit more, right? That's the Pro. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but if you go and, and play around, I we probably won't get into it today, but if you go and play around with the video aspects in Express. It is super easy to use and super um, robust too for yeah. like Adobe Express. It is a very robust way to edit videos. Yeah, it's super nice. And the thing that I love about it as well is sometimes like, right, like I have a lot of photos that I wanna post and I wanna use it. So when I'm making a video, sometimes I want like that text. So in Adobe Express, you can save the video as a video or you can save it as each individual slide. Right. So that's kind of nice too that it's like, I don't know, you just have, you have both. So many options. <laughs> and it's like, right, it's not like, I think that's what I kind of hated um, before Adobe Express was a thing, mm -hmm. is I was like editing my videos in this app. I was editing my photos in this app. I was putting them together in this app, like my photo, my carousels. I was, you know, I had like eight different apps just to like post on social media, like to show right. off my work. Yeah. But now it's like all in one app. Like even they have video. I'm like, that is so cool. Yeah. Like, so it's kind of cool, like you can upload media and they have like little videos, see, it's photos, super nice, videos, yes. and even audio, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Upload from your device, so you can upload your music straight onto your um, video as well, which mm -hmm. is super cool, right? It's not like you're, okay, now I gotta try, go to an Adobe stock and find my uh, sound, download it and put it, you know, like all of that, so. But anyway, we extended the photo, right? Yeah. And it fits perfectly. We can like now get everything. Oops. Don't have to give up the bow. Well, and then we added some fireworks too. <laughs> and right, so if I wanted to add some text just to kind of like call out to people, because again, I feel like as a photographer, it's kind of hard to um, showcase your work. Because yeah. right, we're artists, we're photographers, and now it's like the world is like, well, now you have to be popular in social media. You have to have thousands of followers. But and that's not necessarily true. Like, you can, people will like your stuff regardless. Yeah, for sure. And so this Adobe Express makes it really easy for me as like a non-graphic designer or like logo person mm -hmm. to like kind of showcase my work to like call to people without having to like, 
okay, how am I going to advertise? Like, not right. trying to think as, like, an advertiser. Yeah, you get to so. still be an artist and still show your work. Yeah. And speaking of that, showcasing your work, um, we are looking for new guests on Adobe Live. So if you want to nominate yourself or someone that you know to come join us on Adobe Live, there is a tab on Behance. Um, you can go ahead and drop any information about that artist in that tab, and we would love to reach out and find new artists to come join us and show us their skills. That would be so fun. Yeah, actually, I think I attended my first Adobe Live, like, I don't know, how long have you guys been doing this? Oh, you know? years. Like, ever? <laughs> yeah. It was like two years ago, and I was trying to figure out, I was like, what live was it? I was trying to figure out who it was, because like, I bet I could still find them. Yeah. But now I'm like, look, now I'm here. Like, it's just kind of like, I yeah. learned from them, and now I'm teaching. So. Yes, that's what's great about this community. We're all here for each other. Okay, and more Adobe Express stuff to like make <laughs> you guys love this more is, so the recommendations. Um, so I, all right, I went to, to text, right? And again, like when I'm doing this right now, you have to like figure out a text that like matches your aesthetic mm -hmm. or like matches mm -hmm. your website, matches whatever. And it's just kind of like annoying. Like I remember being like scrolling through all the text, like maybe this one, no, maybe this one. But this just kind of gives you recommended stuff based on off, off of your word, off of your photo, and like everything about that. Yeah, so that's super nice. I think it's kind of cool. You can view all of them. And right, it kind of gives you what it looks like too. I love that as well. Like sometimes it's annoying when it doesn't do that. So if you want it more bulky or curvy, whatever, I kind of like this one though. It's just kind of simple. Yeah, I like that. So that's probably my favorite thing because I'm like, boom, I found one, I'm done. I don't have to spend any more time. If I wanted to post it, I could. I could just download it and whatever. But if I wanted to add a little bit more, pizzazz to it you could also this is my favorite thing oh whoops go back text text effects Ooh. which if you haven't heard i can show you oh that's why i haven't clicked on it there we go so you can add either classic effects shadow shape right because that's a little it's a little flat right now um and, but sometimes too if like you don't really know much about it you're like wait i've never added you know a shadow to my text before it can be a little daunting or you can just describe any kind of texture and Ooh. it shows up. I'm excited to see this. It's pretty cool. So like, I feel like we're in Disneyland. So maybe like kind of to match the light, we could do like lantern. I think of like Ooh, yeah. ball ground dresses, like silky. So maybe like golden silk or something like that. Golden Ooh. silk dress. I don't know. You could literally like just put like anything and we're going to see. I feel like does. this is such a skill to like being able to write the prompts in a yes. way that like conveys what you're thinking because sometimes I find like oh I have this idea in my mind but like writing the prompt is like what am I even going to describe this as yeah like, so it's definitely something you have to play around with yes right? and that's like kind of the fun part too because it's like oh I get to figure it out because I was trying to do that too I was like I was like black velvet and it kept doing like fur so I'm over there like on google like different words for velvet like, <laughs> yeah. so I think it's kind of fun to like look up different stuff or right seeing how other people work too mm -hmm. like I've watched a few um, videos of people doing the text effects and they're like, oh, I want to do this. I was like, I never would have thought of that. Like, yeah. Oh, that's how you describe this texture. And I'm like, oh, that that helped me yeah, for sure. now do what I want to do. That's definitely a good thing about our, uh, we have Thursday meetups, Firefly meetups, and I've learned so much about prompting in those Thursday Firefly meetups. So oh, that's nice. Definitely yeah. join us. You're, you're back tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, that, back yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah so I'll, I'll help out with that too because sometimes <laughs> it is like, I've seen people on videos too, and I'm like, oh, try this, you know, or like, I'm doing this, but it's doing this. Like, what am I supposed to do? Right. And it's just kind of hard, but, you know, once you kind of get we the can, hang of it, it's like, it's yeah. super fun. And we can learn together, which is also fun. Yeah. Okay, so this is our silk, golden silk dress. Golden silk. And it kind of, it gives you four different options too, and you can remove effect or even load more. Like, let's say, like, well, that's not really what I was looking for. Yeah. And this is kind of too, like, where you can kind of build off, like, oh, this one's really pretty where it kind of gives the wave. So even maybe if you're like, oh, I wanted something less wavy, you could just be like, I don't know, like less Tokyo yeah. silk, like flat dress or something like that. Yeah. Like you could even add more to your prompt, which I think is, I saw somebody do that. They started off with like one word and they had a whole paragraph. Ooh. So they built off that one word into something that they wanted wow. to create. And I was like, oh, that's actually really smart. Like yeah. that way they can kind of figure out like, oh, that's the word that's messing my prompt up. Mm -hmm. So right, so maybe like, the silk, if you're like, oh, that's like a little bit, it's not really like ball gowny or whatever. Like I want yeah. it to be more like bright or something like that. And then maybe you can just like take away the silk. We can just see what it puts for just dress. Just gold dress. Yeah. Yes. Or, or yeah, or like maybe not doing gold and maybe just doing gold kind of thing. Cause maybe golden makes a little bit 
Yeah, and know. even like if you really did want it to be silk, like the order of your words matter yeah, too, I that's think. That's true. Um, so, like if you say silk dress gold, maybe that would change it. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, so maybe not adding too many like golden, whatever. Yeah, I think a more blank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Like, it's kind of similar, but. It's so, yeah, but I feel like, right, it always gives you different options. Yeah. So, like, if uh -huh. you're looking for something different. And if you, like, oh, like this one, gold dip. Like, gold dip. I, I love that one. That. <laughs> that one is so fun. And that, too, like, if you, like, don't even know what to put, then you can kind of, like, look like blue and gold marble, dragon skin. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's do that, because Disney has dragons in it. <laughs> wet, like, wet glass. Like, I would have never thought of that like that. Like, yeah, what? Wet Me glass. Neither. So, you can kind of. Sheep wool, woven baskets. Oh, I like that dragon skin. Yeah. That's really cool. I think it kind of like matches the, yeah. the castle. Maybe you put it like down here too or whatever. I don't know. Like uh, one of my favorite too is like the rainbow fur. Is I thought that was kind of like fun. Like, oh, I would have never thought of like rainbow and fur together. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Like if it's bigger, you can like actually see like the little fur. I'm like, that's so cute. And that's something that would take like a really long time to do is create that effect in yes. um, like rainbow fur. So this just, you know, cuts down the process, especially when you're using it for things like social media. You don't want to spend like a ton of time. You're a video or you're, excuse me, you're a photo editor, not going to spend not, your time doing yeah. the social media stuff. And that's yeah. the thing too that I love about this. It, yeah, it helps me speed up my process and not being like, oh yeah, wouldn't it be cool if we can make like dragon scales on my text and then you just spent four hours trying to like create and you're like wait and then you end up not liking it and you're like oh that was a waste of time yeah. and then you get over stress and then you have like <laughs> imposter syndrome you're like wait it's just a rabbit hole and now it's like <laughs> look at this little piece of artwork I created but yes anyway so if you like this and again you can kind of like create like a shadow with it too yeah let's look more effects it's just kind of like slow for me earlier so but <clears throat> if you're ready to share I think I almost kind of like it oh, I can't decide let's make it a little bit smaller there you go, Tokyo. You can just share, so you could download it if you want. Let's say you wanted to send it, like email it or whatever, test it out, um, or you just share straight from here. If it'll love. Did I click it? Oh, there we go. So you can invite collaborators, write your other Adobe friends, um, publish it to the web, schedule posts, like, and it has like mm -hmm. the little app. Instagram, I don't have it set up right now, I don't know why, but. You can put your caption or like you don't even have to like write before it's like download it email yeah. it to myself download it from my email pull it up into instagram and like so and that's yeah i mean that's like fine but it's just kind of like nice like it's already right here just like let me just it. like you know just went to disney right i guess disneyland they call it disney tokyo but whatever and then you can add your first comment too you can preview it which is kind of fun. That's like, right, fun. Yeah, you can kind of cool. see, like, okay, I like that. You can go back and change it. If you're like, wait, I, you know, missed something over here, you can go back into Photoshop, right, and then mm -hmm. save it, and it'll save back in here. It's just kind of, like, nice. Like, I feel like yeah. it cuts down. Like, I can't tell you how many times I'm, like, about to post something on Instagram, and then I'm like, oh, shoot, like, I forgot a shadow, or, like, I forgot something, and then it's like, you almost have to, like, restart this process over Right, again. yeah. And yeah. then you have, like, multiple versions. Yeah. Oh I hate it's that. like, <laughs> final, final, final. Like, I promise this is the final, right? And so this is kind of just like, oh, shoot, okay, let me just change this really quick. So huge time saver. And then, again, you just publish once you connect your Instagram, which is yeah. super easy if I wanted to do it right now. Um, we did have a question in the chat about what we're working on um, is and if AI is out of beta in Photoshop and it is oh, yes. out of beta now so it is available in GA within Photoshop so just go and update your app and it's there. Yes yeah, so you just go to the creative cloud app right here um, and you can just go to all apps. And I don't know why I'm still working on the beta one. <laughs> it's just like a habit now but it is up to date all that stuff is in there. Um, yeah. So we can open it up just so you can see. It's basically the same it's thing. It's ready for you. Yeah. But yeah. Um, just saying hi to Ted in the chat, in the Behance and the uh, YouTube chat. Hi, Ted. <laughs> um, there was a question earlier about um, your, your photo editing. Mm -hmm. And if you ever work with like editing skin colors or adding like neutral filters um, to people in your photos. Like just like like if I wanted to change yeah like, like just editing you in there um yeah like if I wanted to like filter this like maybe like edit something something cool that I like 
in a Photoshop, especially if you're just working on one photo. I feel like a lot of photographers edit in Lightroom or Lightroom Classic. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of edit all at once, right? You have one edit and you just kind of copy and paste it everywhere. Um, so what I like to do, right, if this isn't a raw photo, like this is literally taken on my iPhone. Um, once I'm done with the photo, right, I'll usually like copy all the layers or whatever and do it to one. You know, this is like my yeah. final and toggle off all of these guys or whatever. But so this is my final layer, right? I'm ready for it to edit. I'll go into filter and then camera raw filter. So this isn't a raw photo, but you can have like a little filter in it. And this kind of gives you the same, like this literally looks like Lightroom yeah, Classic, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, let's just widen my screen. So I'll kind of edit this. It's kind of nice too. If you don't know how to edit photos like manually, you can just go into presets right here. And it actually does like skin tones. Like if you're like deep skin, medium skin, Ooh, light skin, nice. black yeah. and white, edgy, right? Like, so I have pretty fair skin. So it kind of edits, oh my gosh, I already love all of these. Yeah, so it's <laughs> so like a pre, pre -filt, preset filters, yeah, right? Yeah, preset yeah. filters. So, and then too, I feel like sometimes working off of a filter is really nice. It's like, okay, this is kind of where I want it to go. Um, oh my gosh, these are so cute. I feel like it's like this one, what is it? It just like screams like that Disney filter. Yeah, like, Yeah, magical. I went to Disney yeah. filter. And so then you can kind of go over here to like the toggle. So like, I don't really like how bright it is. So I would just turn down the, um, the highlights just a little bit. And if you wanted to get like really picky, um, you could go here and, oh my gosh, when they came out with this, I'm obsessed with this. Oh yeah, so I love this. You go over to here, so it used to be just like subject, sky, and background. And it used to be a little slow, but it's super fast now. But you select people, so if you and your friend were there, it would select each different person. So if, even if you had 10 people, I've done this before, it'll select every single one. It has like their own little thing and you can collect like their body, skin, hair, clothes, if it, oh, like my bow, right? Like that's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Like if I wanted to make my bow a different color maybe, or like, right, I want to change my skin to make it look maybe a little bit more tan. Um, you just create and it kind of creates that selection and then you can kind of edit. It's black, so it's probably not going to be the best, but right, if I wanted to change yeah. my, oh, look, oh, look, look at that good. blue Blue to like match the, the sky, a little bit of saturation. Oh, that's so cute. Maybe Ooh, you change it right like here. Green. Yeah. Green yeah. Blue. Oh, that's cute. Well, St. Patrick's Day, that's a little. <laughs> a little bright. <laughs> we'll change that up a bit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, I guess my shirt. Oh, that's kind of like a deep green, like emerald. Yeah. That's cute. So that's really nice, too. If you want to just change something really quick, you can just change it in uh, Camera Raw, and you just click OK, and it'll change it, right? Yeah, Super sweet. that was great that we yeah. added that. Luke said that he didn't even notice the bow. Oh, so yeah. adding that, like, pop of color definitely helps. Yeah, right. You see, it kind of blends into my hair, and uh, a fun thing, too, if, right, here's my original. If you are working on a lot of photos that you're editing individually, if you wanted to do the same filter, um, oh no, oh, it's because I'm not on the layer. You just go into filter again, and your most recent action will be up here. So if you did any of these, they'll be right here, and I'll just do the same edits. That is so oh, nice, okay. especially like for you that's a wedding photographer. Yeah. You probably want the same like edits across the board. Yeah. Um, so adding that, and then you can just kind of tweak it photo to photo, but having that general like, same vibe across all the photos is super helpful. Yeah, it's and, yeah, and super nice not having to go into like because even you could save your filter technically in Camera Raw, and then you could just like upload it, which which is nice, yeah. but it's just kind of nice. So it's like, oh, okay, let me just do that quick really quick it. to all of them. Yeah, a little quick and fun. Um, if you didn't like something, you can change it. And again, right, like if you're like right about to post and you're like, oh shoot, like I forgot to edit my photo or like edit the skin, then again you just go back um, here. And it'll say update. I think I saved. Let's just double check. <laughs> Save. Oh yeah, see update. And then it'll update. And Perfect. then it's kind of ready. To, and then again, still ready to post. It keeps your text there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's just like really nice. Like yeah, just, no, that's super <laughs> fun and super easy too. I love how they connect like that. I <clears> think that that's a huge time saver. Like we said, we don't like to have all of those versions on our phone and stuff. Yeah. So super big time apps. saver. Um, we have some time. Do you want to edit another photo? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. So we got here. Oh, this is a photo that I worked on. The Sagrada Familia. Okay, so this one I did. I'll just kind of show you like kind of what my process is after like finishing a photo. So yeah. I edited all these people out. This was actually pre-AI. <laughs> so we could kind of, let's just check what it would do just if we selected everybody, so. 
And you did like mm-hmm. individual slides. Yeah, so I'm like here with like yeah. clone stamp, whatever, like pulling. I even, I have never been here. This is in um, Spain, Barcelona. Mm-hmm. So I was like kind of unsure of what like this looked like. But then I looked it up and it was like, you know, a big gate the entrance gate and a small gate. Yeah. So I'm like, right, like the classic, like before AI when you're like, oh, like trying to figure it out, looking up what it looks like, different mm-hmm. angles. And of course this is too, like it's got like scaffolding now. So you're like, okay, if there's any construction that I need to be aware of. So let's see, we got everybody covered. Yep. Boom, generate. And again, I'm not really gonna put anything in there just cause I'm removing. Right, so you don't really wanna give a command or like a verb. I right. feel like it's more of just like, Try to give it, you could, I've done like remove people and it's worked, so. Oh my gosh, look at that, look how fast that was. Oh my gosh. It's a little different right on the yeah. end, but like, it's, oh like, okay. Okay, this, that one's really good. Especially without like the gate, like I feel like yeah, that's kind of cool, like you get rid of all the stairs and mm-hmm. it's almost just like your own thing. It almost made it like better in the sense that like this is what the the front probably looks like without the gate right and without the people and without yeah the this is what it looks like if it wasn't like a, a tourist attraction right exactly. i know people probably still like worship there and stuff like that but it's like now like like, like the it sign is, is like yeah let's I, just see because that that's pretty complicated that background yeah so let's just i, have, I didn't even think about trying to like remove this so this is gonna be fun let's see we have some fellow um, wedding photographers, by the way, oh. in the chat. Valerie. Hello. So fun. You, oh, okay. Look, oh, chatted it. a house. House? <laughs> That's kind of fun. This kind of, That like, one's pretty good. Gets it. Like, if I was, like, being really nitpicky, this is what I would do is I would almost, like, take this part of what it created. Yeah. And then kind of erase it and then, like, go from there. Yeah. And technically, you could do that. Like, you could, like, I'm selected on this area. It's still within the same selection. Oh, I think it even gave her a purse. That's hilarious. Is that? No, that she had that before. I was like, no way. <laughs> You could select this and just kind of generate. Um, and we could just get rid of the person. And yeah, just keep going until you find what looks good. Of course, like this is obviously not what's actually there. Yeah. Um, but it is nice to, I, I've seen a lot of examples like waterfalls, like adding oh, in waterfalls yeah. or adding in um, more to the waterfall. You only get the top or the bottom. Right. And yeah. obviously it's not like exactly the right uh, waterfall that you would see in nature, but it does kind of just give another element to your photos that makes it pretty. Right. Yeah. It's just kind of like, oh, like it was there or like I missed the moon. Like there was, or even this yes. one um, wedding photo I just edited, the sunset was so pretty, but the picture was blown out. Like it was just white. Yeah. She was just like, I loved it. Like this is, and I loved it. She sent me a picture. She was like, this is what it looked like. And so I was able to edit like a sunset that looked like that. And so, so it was cool. just like, yeah, like it's not real, but like this is how it was in real life. Right. You know, yeah, the it photo was there. Doesn't, like, yeah. <laughs> whatever. So maybe if we didn't want to do this, you could do like church. Or, like, even just, like, cathedral. Let's just see what it would do. Cathedral. Is that how you spell that? <laughs> my spelling skills. So, right, like, that's where you kind of, like, that's my base start, especially if you don't know how to work AI, is just seeing what it does on its own. Yeah. And then kind of building off of those. Okay, like, this is a building. Let's create a little bit more texture. Again, this is kind of just doesn't really know what to do, which yeah. is why I would kind of, like, like create a little thing. That's yeah, kind of funny. but it did create that good, like, base layer base up layer. there and then you can kind of play around with yeah. the the part um down low and that's that's where i would kind of like connect the layers and then i would almost just like reselect everything again yeah and that's where i would kind of put like maybe like spaniard cathedral right you could even get more specific mm-hmm. kind of like, which i like too they have hundreds of languages now yeah which is kind of crazy do. so like if it's a more, like, I, I can't remember which word I was trying to do. But it wasn't English, but it was, like, that's what we say. Yeah. And it was, like, doesn't understand. I was, like, oh, man. Like, that's I gotta speak us now. good. I know, like, like it has, yeah. like, a little building to, like, and that's definitely, like, very Spain- like yeah, Spanish. Yeah, it's in the like, style, for sure. So that's kind of cool. That one's pretty cool, too. That one's really good. Like, more like a square, which I kind of feel like how those, like, yeah. centers work over there in Europe. That was kind of fun. It had some people yeah. there. But I I do like that yeah. first one or second one. And right, see, sometimes it just creates like random stuff. But like if you were like to edit your photo, you just kind of like rasterize the yeah. photo. And then you could just either, again, do generative AI and remove it or whatever. But thanks. Well, we are almost out of time. Um, Thank you all for joining us. Sarah will be back tomorrow, so you can see more of her amazing prompting and more of her amazing work tomorrow. And then stay tuned today. Um, Shayna will be back to talk about graphic design and using Illustrator and Adobe Express together. Um, So stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good one.